not so cruel in I was my... Watching the, I was making someone watch The Acolyte. I was making someone watch at least the first four episodes of The Acolyte. The fifth one might just have some people on it was board. A, it was great to turn your brain off pun. and just watch the, the highly choreographed fight scenes, which... I will admit we're pretty well done. It's just uh, not enough to like save the series. I still don't recommend the series. No. Um, Shout out to but, the trees uh, at the beginning of the episode that blocked the coolest fight scenes. Right? It's like one Sith versus ten Jedi <laughs> behind fourteen trees. That's fucking cool. I really wanted to see that, but I guess that's just not going to happen. All right. I guess we're just going to see a bunch of one on one battles because the Jedi don't know how to attack the, three at is a that time. The budget? The budget trees coming in. The there. budget it's trees. Like Get the fuck out of here. Trees, yeah. <laughs> the budget <laughs> trees. All right, guys, let's talk about the and acolyte. So, Kamir is apparently Magneto now. He has a helmet. He can't have his thoughts read. I was like, wrong. So, uh, I think she really just enjoyed X-Men 97 and just wanted to rip it off. Like, <laughs> Star Wars. I don't That's a good that idea. Helmet. Toss that in there. It's the first and good thing really... Disney's done. So I don't blame her for that. And if really Saul can read minds, shouldn't he have figured out that it was May, not Osha? Oh, wait, if they can sense the dark episode? side users, wouldn't they have figured it out when they were interrogating him at the apothecary? Um, Very good at hiding it. I, don't know. I guess. Also, guys, all right, so we're going to talk about everything. So he wouldn't even need the helmet. What, what is up? Yeah. The, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's why he did that. What is up with the that? writers don't even watch, are like so fucking lazy, they won't even watch the previous episode. What is up with that smile? That's carved into his helmet. I love that. The internet was like calling him Smilo Ren. But yeah, now that, him Smilo Ren. But now that we've seen him without his helmet on and like a lot of Star Wars ladies and some of the guys out there, you know, because all nerds are gay. <laughs> are really, really in love. Uh, they're calling him the hottest Sith Lord ever. So I, I propose that we start calling him Kylo Riz. Maybe. Mm, for No? Okay. You That's all right. Good day, sir. Um, I'll sit here awkwardly. Yippity. I'll think of something. Thanks, guys. Uh, so, what's up with that helmet? You know, it's made of a special material. I was watching, I think, Screen Rant. No, Heavy Spoilers. Maybe was talking about it because I, I, I wasn't familiar with it. Matt, are you familiar with this special material? His helmet was made out of like quartz arts or something like that. No. Okay, so basically, you guys remember in the fight scenes why, like, where their lightsabers kept like disarming or uh, just like turning off? Like basically, a little e e uh, EMP. Yeah, I piece. thought he destroyed them. Hmm. I thought he destroyed them. So he did, he he cuts through them. one of them, but actually, like you'll see if you rewatch the the fight scenes, like it every time they hit one of his pieces of armor, whether it's helmet or if it's arm or something like that. The, the lightsaber temporarily gets uh, turned off, and that's because of the way the, the or the properties of the material. Uh, again, I'll, I'll, if I add this, I'll, I'll, I'll put the, the actual name of there, but we'll call it quartz art f for right now. Uh, actually just dis disables the lightsaber, just turns it off for a couple of seconds. So that's what was happening in all those fight scenes. I thought originally he was just like using the force to turn so it he, off. Force the force can do anything. Yeah, the force just makes it answered it all. Yeah, couldn't use the force to make the, the button. Turn yeah, that's press, what. I, yes. So, in theory, yes. But uh, what we learn in I think Rebels is that all Jedi are trained to kind of just make like a force shield around their their hand and their lightsaber, so that because uh, else you would just force pull everyone's lightsaber away from them, right? Or just force turn down that or turn off that switch. But because of the, the little force shield around your hand, you learn as a Jedi. That's why uh, they're not easily able to get disarmed. Makes sense to me. Yeah. Guys, what did you think about um, Carrie Ann Moss uh, dying, episode one, right? Master, whoever her name was, getting killed, uh, stabbed with a little tiny dagger through the heart, and she died. So that was that's one thing, and and then later on we see, what 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 was her name? The Jack, the white, the uh, yeah, the little girl with the horns. King. Yeah, uh huh. Uh, dude, Darth she Mama. yeah, dude, she got lit up like just one, two, three stabs, just pew pew pew. Also, I want to I want to mention he used uh, 
a, I think a laser. He used an actual weapon to kill the Jedi. So he's a, definitely a fucking hypocrite. I, as spoke if, as spoke if a critical drinker yesterday. I mean, is, I is, yeah. is he a is he a hypocrite or is he just a great boss? Because if he's trying to train an acolyte and he wants the acolyte to be, if, if he's dude, he's so young, he he's got he has, he has tons of time. He he's has, looking for he, the right acolyte, and so to do that, you keep your standards high. I know it's twenty twenty four, and all of America has forgotten what high standards are like. But this Ky- Kylo Riz over here is is performing it. He's like, "Yo, you gotta kill a Jedi without using a weapon." It doesn't mean I have to, right? What? He's trying to he's trying to save money on uh he's trying to save money on lightsabers, or he's has an agile mindset and he's more in a support role rather than uh you know uh, expert role. He's like, "I'm like I'm not an expert in um you know killing people without weapons, but." Um, we're looking for someone in this organization. Yeah, you could is. be. Yeah, yeah. Who is it? Who is a subject matter expert, and I can be a supportive role. All right. So let me talk about this. Knowledge based role. When he was talking about the Sith, it sounded like he was inventing the Sith. It sounded like he was the only one of the Sith. So like Some people call me the Sith. Yeah. So like, well, was he trained by previous Sith and then killed that person? Look, well, and then so now he's, he's looking. For... Like, there's always like the rule of two, right? And I mean, originally the Sith were our people, uh, and then they were appropriated by some evil Jedi, right? Like the Sith and the Jedi have like a, a symbiotic combination. You can't have one without the other. Like the Jedi, or the Sith hate the Jedi. They they, they fundamentally disagree on uh, the Which Force. Which is one of the things they should have picked up on Last Jedi. Is like to, in order to kill the Sith, we have to kill all the Jedi, or we to end all the Sith. We have to end the Jedi. Which I thought he was going for, like when I saw the trailers. But it was just like, no, I'm just sad and depressed and don't want to do this anymore. So it was just like, uh, there's like peaks of good writing there, but, you know, not quite. But I think, uh, who's the penis head uh, Jedi? What's his name? Who was supposed uh, to be the You guys want to talk about that M- M- Mundi guy? The Mundi, yeah. yeah. Well, he says in what Phantom Menace, like the Sith have been dead for a mil- millennium. He's a thousand years. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thousand the years, Sith haven't been so. seen uh, for a thousand years. Yeah, and then Kathy Kennedy is going to say, well, it was Legends. Like, the prequel trilogy is bur- Legends gonna, now. So that is such a hard clutch. Like, oh, the his birthday? Because, you know, so, Robin, if you're not familiar with this, like, they were actively changing Wikipedia. Because on oh, Wikipedia, the Wiki, the, Wik- the, Wikipedia, Wikipedia, Wikipedia has, there was a bunch of, bunch of edits going in there to cover for it. Yeah. Which, which oh, is crazy, because no, no. you think if you actually read the script and if you actually knew that this is coming you would have pre preemptively edited wikipedia you know you would have reached out and been like hey do you mind doing this that way we don't get caught doing it during the episode that's which how compartmentalized they, no, that, they are you know but it's still relevant because he literally said like the sith have been extinct for a millennium yeah in phantom menace so obviously this is 100 years before phantom menace oh. and that's no. not the case so I agree, and I think what they're trying to go for is that he's part of this elaborate cover-up that the Jedi have been doing for years, and this yeah. is another one of the let's show it's how evil shit. the Jedi are too. The Jedi aren't good. The Jedi are bad. And really, the Jedi's fault that they're not touching upon is getting so ingrained into the uh, the Republic, uh, becoming the agents of the Republic, and becoming politicians instead of Sitting back, lobbyists, be becoming lobbyists. You know? That's what they were. Yep, they were. They were part. Of, they were played. They were part the of rent the rent on Coruscant. The rent on Coruscant's too damn high. And they were the right, but, arm uh, of uh, the that, deep state on Coruscant. Yeah, they become part of the government, and that mm-hmm. is their biggest failure because it's the first time that the Jedi become part of the government, <laughs> and that's really their exactly. downfall. And that's intriguing enough for me, but now trying to make them out to be evil and purposely bad. You know, whereas it's a bureaucracy and decisions were poorly made, it, it's just maddening. I don't know. So, like, yeah, I don't very... mind the I don't mind the idea of exploring the possibility that the Jedi have always been evil. I mean, yo, these guys are baby snatching. They're going to planets. They're finding children that can use the Force, and they're taking them, whether the the parents are okay with it or not. Right? So, like, you know, if you want to do that. That's cool, but you got to do it with like good writing. The problem is, the writers' room is th- no one's intelligent. There, there's just not an ounce of good writing in this show, so they can't pull off a uh, high concept 
theories or explore uh, intellectually what's happening in this galaxy far, far away. But if you read the um, books, there's like a purpose for them going into these kids. They're not reading because, books. You think these you know, guys uh, are reading books? Kathleen, Kathleen but, 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 didn't even know there were books. She was just like, a, you know, Star Wars uh, is a weird franchise because there are no books to draw from. She literally said that. That's hilarious. Uh, but yeah. the in the books, they like go out of the way and say like a person who has unchecked power can like die accidentally by using the force or they can destroy like a whole community, you know, in an act of rage without knowing they have the force. So part of taking the like not to agree with it, but like it's been established in the expanded universe, which is now legends as to why this is a policy. And now we're saying, fuck that. Let's not draw on the expanded universe at all. Right. Because we didn't write the expanded universe, so we don't want to. Unless we have ideas. In that case, we're going to steal from the expanded universe where Disney Plus writers... No, no. From day one, from day one, that has been the issue with Disney. The very first thing they did is said, every book that's been written for the last 30 plus years is no longer lore. Since since Splinter of the Mind's Eye, yeah. yeah. Now. It is no longer part of the canon. We're going to create a brand new canon. But from a business perspective, you can understand that, right? It just sucks that they yeah. were so bad at story writing. Because, like, made, from a business perspective, they could have made so much more money had they been more faithful. But it's just like, they, no, they, no, they think about the Empire. No, think about, the think about they could have had two. You can have, like, we like to joke about how, like, timelines and the multiverse and stuff like that, but. Star Wars fans have the oh, multi. Another, we the have Disney multiverse. We have the multiverse now, right? Like you can go and you can read your expanded legends, right? And you can also read a separate timeline of Disney Plus bullshit that's happening in the same BBY oh, timeline. Timeline, right? Yeah. Please keep multiverse away from it's Star just, Wars. It's already. I'm not. Oh no, 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 sorry. <laughs> no, no. DC. I'm saying it's already overusing DC and Marvel. I'm saying and we're experiencing. Too. We're experiencing the multiverse. Right, I'm uh, not saying they're adding the multiverse. I'm saying we're experiencing a multiverse because there's multiple worlds. You can go to Legends BBY 17 or whatever, or and you can go to New Disney Canon. What I'm saying, I, and I think that that's amazing. What I'm saying is it sucks that the Disney writers are awful and the Disney Canon sucks. Right, but imagine if it was like, imagine if it was amazing. Like think about have, hilarious the mo- think about how many times we've had Batman uh, be like. 25 or 35 right like there's four thousand timelines where batman's do it like, like punching the penguin for the first time or the joker for the first time we get to experience that and that's excellent because there's so many great stories that's all i'm saying right it's just a, a bummer that disney wasn't able to reproduce the magic of the expanded universe you know what i'm saying like that would have been so cool to have twice the stories at the same time that was so cool it just yeah, sucks that they suck. That's all. It's hilarious that like the multiverse is like you know it has <laughs> Robbie. actual physics, like theoretical physics. <laughs> but it's really the multiverse as we know it is more is more just a ploy by editorial to explain why certain characters and events aren't canon. Like I think like what Jay Garrick and Barry Allen was the first instance of the multiverse that I can think of, um, and it was just to explain well. Jake Garrick isn't the Flash anymore because he's in a separate universe. And, and that's um, all, all the comic books you read in the 70s, 80s, 90s. It's like, we're on Earth 352 two, yeah. in this version of X-Men. We're on Earth 187. You know, mm-hmm. um, yeah. and, and we want to do like an ultimate universe with like, you know, new continuity uh, in Marvel. Um, so we'll just make that a separate world. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but the the ultimate Spider Man can visit the six one six Spider Man, but That's now Miles Morales is in the six one six universe, and the whole point of Miles Morales is lost now because now we have two characters called Spider Man, and now we have to decide. It, it's even it the Spider Man game is so weird because like they're both called Hey Spider Man, um, and like, you know, which one are they? Which one are they? Which one are they? Uh, which one's which? Um, so yeah, especially yeah, so in twenty twenty four, you can't be like. Uh, the black spider man. I mean the 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 other. No, you can't do it in twenty twenty four. No. Yeah, exactly. You're exactly right. How do you identify which Spider Man's which? Yeah, they should call Spider Man two Spider Man. That's literally what it is. Um, 
Well, yeah, spoiler alert, I haven't gotten there yet. I haven't even bought a PlayStation 5. There. Yeah, it's a bit of an expense just to play that one game. I'm surprised it's not on PC yet, but... I mean, anything to get away from uh, the Halo franchise. Uh, no, but we need to go towards You know what well, franchise I, I want to get towards? We got I five know. minutes, yeah. Bring on Season yeah, 3 of I The do. Voice. Oh, uh, no, sorry. Bring on Season 3 of, of Halo. But let's let's also bring on Season 4, Episode 4 of The Voice. 